workbook and lesson to accompany this video available on Teachers Pay Teachers. Teacher in sweatpants. What is matter? Matters all around you. Take a peek around the room. Everything you can see and touch is matter. Your water bottle is matter. Your books are matter. Your pencils matter. Even your dog is matter. <coughs> matter is anything that has volume and mass. Volume is the amount of space taken up by matter. When you pour water into a glass, its volume is the amount of space it takes up. Remember, matter is anything that has volume and mass. Mass is the amount of matter in an object. Mass is commonly measured in kilograms and grams, pounds or ounces. We can also compare the mass of different objects by using a balance scale. There are three states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. A solid is a state of matter with a definite shape and volume. Examples of a solid include a rock, a plant, and a hamburger. Atoms in a solid object are packed closely together so they don't move around. Remember that solids have a definite shape and volume that doesn't change when you move them around or put them in another container. A liquid is a state of matter with a definite volume, but not a definite shape. Examples of a liquid include coffee, oil, and milk. Atoms in a liquid are packed together, but they can still slide past each other. Remember that liquids have a volume that stays the same, but their shapes change. Liquids take the shape of whatever container they are in. A gas is a state of matter with no definite volume or shape. Examples of gas include water vapor, helium, and carbon monoxide. Atoms in a gas can move freely, and if gas is not in a container, it will spread out indefinitely. Remember that gases do not have a definite shape or volume. They move around and fill up the container or space that they are in. Is water matter? Does water have volume? Does it take up space? Yes. Does water have mass? Yes. Water has volume and mass, therefore, water is matter. Hooray! Is an apple matter? Does an apple have volume? Does it take up space? Yes. Does an apple have mass? Yes. An apple has volume and mass. Therefore, an apple is matter. Hooray! Is sound matter? Does sound have volume? Not that kind of volume. Does it take up space? No. Does sound have mass? No. Sound does not have volume and does not have mass. Therefore, sound is not matter. Oh! Is air matter? Does air have volume? 
Does it take up space? Yes. As you pump up a balloon with air, the balloon expands. The air is filling the space inside, which shows that air has volume. Does air have mass? Yes. The filled balloon has more mass than the empty balloon because of the air. Air has volume and mass, therefore, air is matter. Is heat matter? Does heat have volume? Does it take up space? No. Does heat have mass? No. Heat does not have volume and does not have mass. Therefore, heat is not matter. Is a pencil matter? Does a pencil have volume? Does it take up space? Yes. Does a pencil have mass? Yes. A pencil has volume and mass. Therefore, a pencil is matter. Complete page one and two in your matter workbook. Workbook and lesson to accompany this video available on Teachers Pay Teachers. Teacher in sweatpants. Check out my other videos on YouTube.